Good morning. Today is Monday, May 8th, which means it is day one of my green smoothie challenge. If you missed my last live stream that explained why I'm doing this and the giveaway associated with it, I will link it above in the cards. But this morning we are going strong. I'm trying to set a solid routine of waking up in the morning, getting a glass of cold water, and then making my 72 ounces of green smoothie. Um, if you've never done a cleanse like this before, they all are a little different. Mine is 72 ounces of green smoothie uh, for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Like, total, the 72 ounces covers breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then you get two snacks, one cup of fruit, and one cup of vegetables. Today is a green apple, and then a cup of baby carrots and hummus. Whew, it is really cold. I am currently outside walking in a little park outside of my office and it again is so cold. I didn't grab a coat because I'm used to the days warming up to like 60 to 70 degrees and it is sticking solid at like a 48 to 50. And I didn't bring a coat because I didn't think it was going to stay this cold. So I think I'm going to finish this lap and go back inside. I do need to get 10,000 steps a day. I'll go inside and I will cover um, what I want to you know achieve each day the biggest challenge and I'm sure I'll say this again at the end of the day will be no Starbucks for the week there'll actually be no coffee because it's just part of the detox and then each day I'm gonna try to clean um, a part of my house today is going to be my bedroom and kitchen and each day I figure if I'm detoxing my body I should detox my home I'm gonna clean things out uh, give things away I don't need but for now let's go inside we'll continue this talk Hey you guys, I am back in my office. It is so much warmer in here, and sorry if the aggressive wind outside ruined this hair. It's Monday. I don't really care about hair on Mondays unless I have like a big filming day or a performance or something coming up. But yes, if you couldn't hear me outside, it's day one, green smoothie challenge. This, I've done this before. I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. I've done this before. And it's always been for vanity, you know, I want to lose 15 pounds, yada, yada, yada. This time, I want it to just be about detoxing the body and feeling better. And for that reason, I did not get on the scale this morning. I have a general idea of where my current weight is and where I would like it to be. But again, as this is not about weight 100%, it's just about feeling better. There was no need to get on the scale and check every day. I will check on my last day, which will be Saturday morning, and then I will post my weight loss and my final you know, review of this on Monday. But I know that weight loss isn't just drinking green smoothies and eating basically as a raw vegan for five days. I know it is a lifestyle, so I'm trying to treat it more as such. So no weighing in, no measuring, uh, if I do lose weight, I'm sure I'll feel it in my clothes. Like, this jacket is a little bit tight if I button it up. And if next week it's not, it would be great. Today's green smoothie is comprised of flaxseed, spinach, obviously, protein powder, one banana, two cups of pineapple, one cup of strawberries, and water. And again, I made 72 ounces of this. My breakfast and lunch actually fit into this mason jar. And you can see I already had the breakfast portion. Lunch will come next. Um, I'm gonna have my first snack in a little bit. And then when I get home, I have the remainder of the 72 ounces in another jar in my fridge. This actually, as hard as it is to just survive on smoothies, it is really nice to not have to worry about restaurants and pressures of what to cook at night. Here's my first snack, if you would like to see. First snack is the apple, and then I have the baby carrots and hummus that are in the fridge behind me. For those that have been following me for a while, I did just finish um, the opera that I was working on for the past couple weeks, and last week was what we call tech week, which is where you go to work like you normally do, and then you spend your evenings 
typically like 6 p.m. to 11, sometimes later, in the theater, like running the show. Therefore, your dinner and late night eating schedule is completely thrown off. I would leave rehearsal starving and I would just grab whatever I could. So a lot of just a lot of not good food choices. Let's just be honest. Let's just put it out there and detox the truth, shall we? Not a lot of good food choices. Lots of sugary coffee drinks in the morning, late night processed foods at night. And then when the show opened, obviously we got treated to a very fancy dinner and drinks, cocktails, all that stuff. And then yesterday when we closed on Sunday, uh, my cast and I went out and we got deep dish pizzas to celebrate. So needless to say, my body really does need a sort of detox. So I'm really glad to start this. Thank you guys so much for being you know, accommodating and leaving so many nice comments. Again, at the end of the day, I will talk about the giveaway once again. It was mentioned in the live stream that was linked up in the cards, but it is now noon. Let's get this day, you know, rolling along and see how we do in the next, you know, five to eight hours. All right, I wanted to share with you guys my goals for this week, just so I have them down for accountability purposes. And if I mess any of them up, you guys can let me know. Number one is to obviously stick to the meal plan of a smoothie for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two approved snacks, 70 ounces of water a day, 10,000 steps a day, and I do have a counter that helps me. Create a solid routine so I know that every morning I wake up, have a glass of lemon water, and make my smoothie, pack my snacks, and go. Make that a routine so there's no getting off track. Obviously, number five is to vlog once a day for accountability so you guys can see how I'm doing and I can see how I'm doing and we can all support each other on whatever we're trying to do this week. And then number six is the big one, fight late night cravings. Like I said before, I just finished an opera with late night rehearsals, so we were always eating, 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 processed foods, fast foods, all that bad stuff. So fight the late night cravings. These days, I'm craving typically like cereal or chips at the end of the day. We're not gonna have any of that. And then at the bottom, because obviously you're not gonna keep off any of the weight you lose if you go right back to your eating habits. So I wrote at the bottom to begin developing healthy meal choices. Like when I meal prep or make a big batch of something, just kind of think more what would be a healthy option. But those are my goals. I'm gonna go have my snack and I'll check in with you guys later this afternoon. Hey you guys, it's the end of the day and I probably look tired. I feel tired. It's, for me, the hardest days of detoxing are days one and two. Three usually is when it gets easier. But I finished the work day, came home. I have my third smoothie and two glasses of water to look forward to. And at the end of every day, I'm gonna answer these four questions. And I have them down here in my planner. Question one. How I'm feeling. Uh, it's day one, so I've got a little bit of what I like to call brain fog and just kind of fatigue. So I put my pajamas on, took my contacts out just to kind of make me feel like it's okay to feel this way. We're on the couch, it's gonna be okay. Drink your water, have your smoothie, it's gonna be okay. This is where the encouragement part comes in. Part, not parts. This is where the encouragement part comes in because this is where I'll be you know, needing some sort of encouragement, and you guys have been amazing so far, and I have no doubt that you'll be here this week. So that's done. Number two, accomplishment for the day. We are almost done with day one, which means we are 20% there. We are almost there. Not really, but I'm just gonna say it, because I'm gonna trick myself. Number three, upcoming challenge. Um, it was cold today and I couldn't walk as much as I wanted to outside during, you know, breaks between meetings. So challenge will definitely be preparing for the weather and just learning, you know, to say no when I see that Starbucks or if my boyfriend goes out and gets food and I have to have a green smooth. Those are going to be challenges. And my last one was how many steps did I take? And I totally failed. I wanted to take 10,000 steps a day and I just hit three today mainly because I'm so tired now I'm not going to get them in and it was so cold earlier today so if it's going to be under 50 tomorrow I'm going to pack a coat and I'm going to make sure I get a half hours worth of walking in 
I can hopefully hit 10,000 tomorrow, but this is where I'm going to end this vlog today because I'm going to go and get ready for bed and just have my last smoothie and water and just kind of finish out this day. If you missed yesterday's live stream about the giveaway, essentially, I'll, I again will link it above, you'll probably have seen it, but um, just leave a comment on this vlog within 24 hours of it being posted and give it a thumbs up. Um, that'll get you one entry. So everybody can have up to five entries if you write on all five vlogs within 24 hours of them going up. Um, so that's been said. And let's see if we can get this video to 12 likes. Can we get 12? It's my favorite number. Let's see if we can do it. But you guys, I'm going to go get ready for bed. Day one is done. Hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. I, I surprisingly didn't miss coffee. I don't have a headache. It's just I kind of have that brain fog. So tomorrow it will be a better day. We're going to get those steps in. I'll show you what I actually you know, put in these smoothies when I blend them up. I'll actually take the vlog camera into the kitchen tomorrow morning. And I think that's it. You guys, please enter the giveaway. If you see this within 24 hours, put a comment down below. Give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow.